every council estate has its own uh, reputation and butcher definitely doesn't go away from that until you actually move on to the estate and get to know the people and not just listen to what has been said then you really see the difference of contrast I don't think kids here have got less potential and maybe got less opportunities but we're starting to see a change in that Free running is one of the many ways that we're reaching kids to see their potential in themselves. Twelve months ago I saw this lad doing flips and tricks uh, off the church wall so I just approached him and said do you want to make this into something bigger, make it into something unique for Butter Shaw and he said yeah and um, very quickly he turned from one to uh, 30, 40, 50. I started just by watching people play, play computer games and watching films and stuff like that. I've never seen anything like it. The stuff that they do and the standard that they do it at is phenomenal. I don't think teenagers should have bad press really. Um, they've all got their own hobbies and stuff like that. It's just sometimes they get in, get in the wrong side of things. Some younger people like hate teaching other people and stuff like that, but I, I like to help people out as much as I can. I just want to give them a platform to take this onto a new level. When I saw Lewis, I like to say it's absolutely mesmerising. And to see that potential in just a, one young man, it's like, how can I take that and duplicate it? There's hope for everyone, so it's just they've got to be pushed and made sure that they're going to do something right. I came from a council estate, I know the stigmatism that goes with it and I was very keen to break free of that which I did for 10 years. I think 10 years ago for me, uh, well I wasn't even a Christian so I, I wouldn't have even imagined something like this, I didn't know that this kind of thing existed. We came on holiday uh, a couple of years ago, we really felt through that holiday that there were quite a few um, kind of big pointers in the sky saying yeah. Eden. Um, and it was kind of like one door after the other opened. Um, it was it was really clear that God wanted us to do this. So um, we followed, and bit, you know, it all kind of fell into place. And within three months, we'd moved up. It was great. Life changing. Yeah. Well, we've got some great teenagers on this estate. Yeah, they can be a challenge sometimes, but um, they're just loads of fun. And I think once they got to know us, um, got to know what we were about. Um, there's been a real openness and we've been able to really, um, particularly with a, a certain few that are just wanting that bit more, um, we've managed to go really deep. It's like a, almost a magnetic pull into um, maybe like crime, petty theft, um, wagging school, that kind of thing. Um, there's a real absence of fathers, so a lot of young people are growing up without um, a strong male role model. For us to come in and actually say, you've got potential, I can see something good in you and I want to help you to achieve that, that's what is making the difference. One of the greatest things about living here is that we have an open home, um, we get to have kids around quite a lot, um, we have them around for dinner, we have them around for Sunday lunch, um, which is something that uh, some of them don't have experience of. People have responded to uh, the message that we bring of God's love, God's peace, um, because it's something that does resonate with them, it's something that they, they long for. Once you've got the trust, you do start to see uh, these ideas coming out and you're saying, oh, what about this and what about that? And they're, they're saying, yeah, and then they build on that and say, oh, maybe we could do this and that, and, you, and that's what you want to see. You can see the fire in their eyes.